For a show that's set to return in a couple of months, Amazon's released little info about The Rings of Power Season 2. The second season was announced years ago, but Amazon didn't start spilling anything until the end of 2023, and what they put out went over as well as a naked dwarf at a... Wait a minute. Why does this sound so familiar? Oh, that's right. This is exactly what Amazon did with the first season. They said nothing about the show until right before it debuted. I wonder how that worked out. Where, oh where, is The Rings of Power Season 2? Have you seen it? Have you seen anything about it? Because I know I haven't. The new season is set to come out sometime this year, but Amazon hasn't said anything about it. They haven't released any promo articles, any photos, any teasers, or any trailers. The last update that they gave was just confirming that Season 2 will come out in 2024. That's not a good sign for a show that was supposedly one of the most popular shows ever created. At least that was a narrative in the media back in 2022. Since then, some of them have changed their tone. From Screen Rant, quote, The Rings of Power seems to be sticking to his five-season plan, and it puts even more pressure on the second outing to fix the Amazon show's mistakes. The Lord of the Rings series debuted in September 2022, not long after HBO's House of the Dragon, a worrying release trend The Rings of Power may continue in 2024. Despite a massive budget and a connection to a beloved fantasy franchise, The Rings of Power didn't take off as well as Amazon had hoped. Many viewers were unhappy with the changes made to J.R.R. Tolkien's lore, as well as its pacing and predictability. Of course, Rings of Power had one advantage over other shows in this predicament. Amazon planned on making five seasons of the show from the beginning. That doesn't mean it can't be cancelled, but after all Amazon invested in its Lord of the Rings series, it's no surprise a streamer greenlit the Rings of Power Season 2, and a promising update for the Rings of Power Season 3 suggests the series is chugging forward as intended. With the so-so reception of Season 1, this puts even more pressure on the next outing to win viewers over. But I thought the show was perfect. That was the narrative. The show was perfect, unflawed, unmarred, beautifully acted, superbly scored, the most brilliantly written fantasy in decades, and anyone who didn't like it is sexist and racist. Now it's, yeah, the show kinda sucked. No, you don't get to do that. You don't get to pretend you weren't heaping praise on the show for months. You can't just flip the script. That said, they are correct that the first season was a mess and didn't go over how Amazon wanted. The show wound up losing two-thirds of its audience by the midpoint of the series. That wasn't the hardcore Tolkien fans or haters or whatever label anyone wants to use. These were casual viewers who knew of The Lord of the Rings, maybe watched the films, and checked out of the show because they lost interest. Around the time the first season ended, Amazon also announced that they were moving the production from New Zealand to England for season two, which, if the rumors are true, seems to have backfired because Amazon is supposedly cutting the budget for season 3 to save money. I thought studios filmed in New Zealand to cut production costs, so this whole thing is weird. However, we have to be careful about these rumors because, as I mentioned a couple of months ago, Amazon has been feeding people false info to try to curb any leaks. This apparently includes the leak that Gavi Singh Chera would play Sauron. From Looper, quote, in late February, J.R.R. Tolkien fan site Fellowship of Fans posted a rumor claiming that Amazon Studios had deliberately leaked false information for Season 2 of its Rings of Power series. The group, which is known for reporting scoops, leaks, and general updates from across the Tolkien landscape, launched a full investigation into which of its rumors were true and which ones were false. On April 2nd, the site shared the results of that query, revealing it believed that, of its own rumor reporting, there was only one false rumor, that Gavi Singh Chera would appear in the Rings of Power Season 2 as an angelic Sauron. The rumor was plausible, as shapeshifting has an important role in Middle-Earth lore, and Sauron appears in more than one guise throughout Tolkien's stories. On their site, Fellowship of Fans claims that Chera will be in the show, but as a character from a new race or group that wasn't shown in the previous season. I don't even know what new race or group means, it could mean something like the Easterlings or Haradrim, or that Amazon will create an all-new species for the show. We'll just set that aside because this thing about the rumors is just crazy. According to Fellowship of Fans, the con job Amazon played was so thorough that Amazon sent their own crew AI images of fake concept art. Quote, Still, a lot of people were fooled, including us and many crew members who were told Gavi Singh Chera was Sauron. And this misinformation campaign was so detailed that through our investigation, we were able to discover that crew members were sent fake AI concept art around Sauron. We reached out to two former concept artists for the Rings of Power Season 1, who would like to remain anonymous, and they were able to confirm that this was indeed most likely AI and not something realistically used in the production. These images, which are on screen now, definitely look like AI. 
Apparently, Amazon uses its AI app Storyteller, which converts scripts to storyboards, for the show. I didn't think it was possible for me to have a lower opinion of the Rings of Power, but thanks, Amazon. You found a way. You have a $200 million budget, and you won't hire a storyboard artist? You're using AI to make the boards? I don't care if it's for the whole season or just a couple of scenes. You spent a billion dollars getting the rights to the Lord of the Rings and making the Rings of Power. You can't cough up 60 grand for a storyboard artist? Damn. Anyway, assuming anything Fellowship of Fans says is true, the fake concept art was part of Amazon's scheme to find leakers in their crew, and that included lying about Chera's role in the show. The rumor was that Gavi Singh Chera would play Sauron, pretending to be Celeborn. But then there would be a different actor, Caleb Lynch, who would play the real Celeborn. For the record, this is Chera, and this is Lynch. You can see why people would confuse the two, what with them looking so much alike. When you see this, it's so obvious the rumor is bullshit that I have to ask, why didn't someone at Fellowship of Fans just look this up? This is the first time I'm hearing about Lynch playing Celeborn, and the first thing I did was look him up to see if he looks like Chera. It always blows my mind when people don't bother to look things up. They hear what they want to hear and see what they want to see and just go. People are so certain that they've got it right. Perfect example. I said a couple of weeks ago that George Orwell's book 1984 is a satire, and a bunch of people claimed I was wrong. But if they did a quick Google search for 1984, Orwell, satire, they'd find this letter Orwell wrote back in 1949, where he said of his book, quote, I do not believe that the kind of society I describe necessarily will arrive, but I believe, allowing of course for the fact that the book is a satire, that something resembling it could arrive. The easiest thing for anyone to do is check. Even if you think you're right, even if it sounds like what you want to hear, just look it up and check. All Fellowship of Fans had to do was check the actors' photos, and they would have realized they got played. That said, assuming what they're claiming is true, this also speaks to a broader issue with Amazon going this far to spread rumors, because the rumor that Chera would be Sauron was reported in numerous media outlets. Most of them admitted it was a rumor, but that rumor sparked criticism of the casting, and some of that probably got directed at Chera, and because the internet is going to internet, some of it probably wasn't very nice. People involved in the show talk about the flack the show's actors receive for the casting choices, calling the criticism racist. Okay, well, if you think that, why would you spread a rumor about a non-white actor when you think he'll be attacked because of his race? I get trying to stop the leaks, but if you genuinely believe that racists will attack your minority cast members, why would you lie about their casting? Why would you paint a target on them? It's almost like no one at Amazon actually believes there's a cabal of racists coming for the show. At any rate, this is the current state of the Rings of Power. Amazon hasn't released anything to get people excited or interested or even aware of the upcoming season. They're feeding fake rumors to their own crew and fans. And apparently, they're cutting the budget for the third season to save on production costs. Or, as they say in the business, it's all going according to plan. But what do I know? I'm just some guy.